Are you trying to find the perfect idea for your SaaS startup? Well, if so, I'll promise you that this will be the last video you ever watch on this topic because I'm about to share with you 10 different websites that you can use to come up with unlimited SaaS ideas all by yourself. These are the websites that some of the most successful startup founders are using to come up with their own ideas, research the market and identify new opportunities. So let's get rolling. The first website that we have is going to be one of the most important websites because it's also going to be the one that you will be using to actually promote your startup once you launch and that is product hunt but the way you can find ideas from product hunt is you can go to their explore page and scroll for all of the different startups that are getting launched on here you can click on the individual startups and see what they're all about you can then go to the website and then go for all of the details here seeing what features they have their pricing as well as seeing their landing page you can then go into the comment section here and see what feedback they're getting from their users. You can see what people are saying, what they're loving about the startup. Some people will also comment their experiences, maybe some things that are missing or some things that they're trying to request from the developers. So you can write all of that down. You can also go to the launches here and then go to either the coming soon tab or the launch archive. In the coming soon, you can go through the ones that have not launched yet, but they will launch within the next seven days. So you can actually get yourself notified once it launches, so you can see how it performs once it's launched. And then the launch archive is, as it says, there's an archive of all the different startups that have been launched on here. You go by the years or whatever you want. But when you're doing your research, you can also go through the categories here and find the category that is specifically relevant to you. So let's say you're making a travel app that involves booking flights. You can literally just click there and go for the ones that are listed on here. One small problem with Product Hunt is that everybody can list their startup on there. So you don't really have a filter of what's good and what's bad. And that can actually waste you a bit of time. That's why this next website can give you a slightly different approach as this next website actually is a deals marketplace for SaaS businesses. So every single startup that is listed on there is actually screened by their team first before they put it on their website. So you can be sure that the startups on there are actually functional and are actually solving some kind of problem. Absomo is a marketplace for different SaaS businesses where you pay once and you get a lifetime access. They usually have about 400 to 500 different startups listed on here at a time, but the products that they have are always being rotated. To find a you can go to the software tab and just scroll through all of the different startups on here. You can narrow down your search by specific categories. So let's say finance and then crypto or investing and then find the startups that are relevant to your specific niche. To see how well the startup is doing, you can gauge it by the reviews tab. The more reviews they have and the better they are, the better the startup is performing, obviously. You can then scroll down further and see the review section and see what people are saying that's good about it, as well as going to the lowest and see what the problems are. So what are the drawbacks of this software? What are the problems with it? Is it too expensive? Is, does it not have a certain feature? Is it buggy? Is it slow? The next website is going to be one of the most useful ones for actually doing competitor research because this website is the biggest website for actual software reviews. G2 has over 2 million reviews for different kind of softwares. You can find the software that is your competitor and then see the highly detailed and nuanced reviews for each one. While Absumo and Product Hunt both have review features, people don't usually go into detail there and it's actually hard to get any useful information out of it. So in G2, once you find the software that is your competitor, you can then go to the reviews tab and read all of the detailed reviews here. They also have a pros and cons section so you can see what the different problems are. For example, ease of use is the pro, flexibility is the pro, but then the cons here will be the learning curve it's expensive. The features are limited. You can click on each one of the section and actually see it in a bit more detail. As you can see here, the reviews are much more nuanced and a lot more detail. For example, here in Airtable, we see that the product is good, but the support is non-existent. That's one thing that you can improve on. Another problem here, the high volume data takes a long time to load. Another complaint here, subpar customer experience, terrible support. So as we could see overall, for example, for Airtable, the overall trend is that they have very terrible support and they have very slow loading times. So if you're building a database tool, that could be some of the things that you focus on for yourself. You make sure they have really good customer support and you make sure it loads fast. Once you scroll to the bottom, you can also see the alternatives. So you can find other apps that are in the related niche that you may have not heard of before and use that to further your research. For example, related to Airtable will be ClickUp, Asana, Teamwork, and you can click here to actually see even more. 
The next website has 192,000 SaaS businesses listed on there. So that this website, you'll never run out of ideas. The website is called SaaS Hub and they have 193,000 products listed on here that you can go through and find ideas. Let's say you're building something in finance. You could click here and go through all of the different finance startups. My favorite part of this website is their alternatives tab. It really like gives you a rabbit hole down to go down in your research. It's a very easy way to find all of the different tools within a niche. A G2 also has it, but, but it doesn't provide as many options. They probably have some of the most categories out of all the directories. So whatever startup you're building, there's definitely a category for that on here. You can click on it, go for all the different startups, see what they're doing, see what features they're offering, find reviews for them. This is honestly a must have tool for your research. So we're taking a look through different directories, but let's now take a slightly different approach. And that approach is taking a look at startups that are actually being sold. The first website for this is Little Exits. Little Exits is actually a startup that was built with no code and it's specifically for acquiring and selling projects under a hundred thousand dollars this website is great once you dive a little bit deeper into your research and you actually want to start getting some numbers because of this one you can try to find different startups that are similar to yours and actually see how much they're being sold for this will give you a perspective on how much money you can actually make from your startup if somebody has already started building out your idea you can potentially buy a startup on here and then start building it out further so let's say we have this one called micro influencer you could see they exact tool stack that it's been built with and all of the different information on the startup as well as the price that they're listing for some of the startups that are being sold on here they actually have a, fo a decent following they've been running for a while if you have some extra cash you can actually buy one of these businesses implement that within your own business or take it and scale it further but overall this is a great tool to find more ideas and get a little bit more detail on them you could also see all the different stack that people are using and you could actually filter by specific stacks as well so let's say we want to see startups startups that will build the bubble. And you can see here what people have been building the bubble and how much they're selling those businesses for. For example, this one, which is a virtual ghostwriter, was built on bubble and has a community of 7,500 people. So you could see there is some demand there. Another great tool to have in your arsenal. Next up is another SaaS marketplace, but this one is the bigger brother of Little Exits. This next website has over 500,000 listed buyers and sellers, and this website has already closed over $500 million worth of SaaS deals. And that is acquire.com. It's the biggest online marketplace for SaaS startups. Once you sign up, you can start scrolling for all of the different startups and see how much they are going for. This will give you even more numbers and can give you some great motivation to see how much money you can make with your business. The one thing about Little Exits is that you can actually see the actual startup name and you can dive further into the research while on here on acquire.com you don't really get to see that you'll have to request access to see anything further but let's take an example here for example we have a self-hosted email marketing platform that is being sold for three hundred sixty thousand dollars. it's already generated 150k in revenue and is making 5k a month in profit a competitor to, it is a competitor to sunny mumara etc this is a great tool for diving deep into the research and getting more numbers you can narrow down your search by different criteria. So for example, SaaS, you can, let's say, lower down the asking price. You can then filter by industries, business models, and even the tech stack. And if you go to the all listings, you can see a massive table here of startups as well. So you can read through, find more ideas, and see which ones are even being sold right now. The next website is the most popular forum for founders as well as developers, and that is Indie Hackers. To find ideas from Indie Hackers, you can go through the different discussions and see what kind of things people are building, as well as how they're acquiring users, how they're doing marketing, what tech stacks they're using, and a lot of other information. Once you've done that, you can also go to the products tab and see an entire database of different products that are being built. You can use the bar on here to filter by different categories so let's say revenue high to low and even see how much their startups are making you can also filter by platform see if they have any funding employee size tech skills for example founders can't code you can then click on the individual startups and see how they've done what they've done a lot of the startups on here provide quite a lot of information for your education it's pretty damn awesome once you've done that you can also go to the ideas tab and the ideas tab has a database of already successful startups that you can use to 
get your ideas flowing even more. They have all the different startups listed on here, the categories, as well as how much they're making per month. Let's say if you found this one interesting, you can click on it and get more information. You could see how they came up with their idea, how they built out their MVP, as well as the different milestones that they've reached. And then here, there is even more information on the market. For example, here we are looking at a tool that helps you develop widgets that are capable of displaying real-time customer activity on the website. And here you could see some of the potential customers, for example, e-commerce retailers. You can see the estimated market size, how much is growing, the trend, the challenge, and then the other ones as well. Same information on here. The amount of information you get from these pages is honestly amazing. Next up, we have a must-know tool if you're thinking of making a mobile app. The Sensor Tower, you get a lot of the different tools for your research, specifically for mobile apps. With app analysis, you can find specific apps and see how they're performing. So let's say if you're looking at this one called Pliability, you can see the revenue they're making, how much downloads they had last month, as well as the category ranking. So you can use this tool to spy on your competitors, see what they're doing, see how they're monetizing their app, as well as the reviews tab, where you could see what is lacking within their app. You could also see all of the different trending apps at the moment as well as top charts for different categories let's say you want to make a business app and then you can see all of the different apps that are on the top there see how they're performing see the all of the different individual information on them and see all of the different related apps as well great tool for researching your mobile app ideas and next up, we've got an AI tool that will actually help you come up with ideas as well as validate them. And this website is called Niche Prowler. In the search tab, you can use this as your search engine to find the different ideas. On here, we have all of the different solution requests. So you can see all of the different kind of requests that people are having and all of the different issues that are having. For example, here, Nomad visa information, legal practice management for law firm administration, email marketing automation for email campaign automation, flowchart maker, web scraping service, question and answering system, watermark remover we can search up for example copywriting and we can see all the different tools in the copywriting niche you can then go to the microsas ideas tab and search by niche when you search in there it will actually give you an entire research tab so let's say you search for shopify product research it will give you all of the niche competitors so all of the different competitors that are targeting that specific problem it will also do keyword research for you so you could see all the different keywords that you can target it'll also give you a user persona and all of the different niche communities that you can use to actually promote your app once you launch other resources tab you'll see all of the other useful tools and resources for actually launching your startup there's a lot on here different calculators valuation calculators name generators and more and next up, we've got another creative way that you can find ideas, and that is a website called WellFound. This, this website is actually for jobs, for startups, but we can also use it to find ideas, as all of the startups being listed on here are successful startups. They are either making money or they gain funding and they're looking to grow. So you can use it to find different startups and see what they're doing. We can go to Discover tab, go to the Startups page, and then filter by categories. So let's say FinTech and see all of the different companies that are hiring. You then can click on them and see more information. So like this one, I would advise going for ones that have a smaller company size, so under 50 employees and see what they're doing. And next up, we've got a bonus tool. And this one will be super useful because, okay, you're, you're doing your research, you're gathering all this information. How do you actually manage all of it? How do you keep it organized? This is a bonus tool I wanted to include to make sure you can keep everything as organized as possible. And that tool is called Millinote. I'm not sponsored by this tool or anything like that. I just wanted to share it because it's super useful and I'm sure it will come in useful on your research. Millinote is basically a whiteboard tool where you can drag and drop different things and keep everything organized in one place. So for example, let's say we were doing research on our one of the competitors, you could take all the different screenshots, arrange them in one place, so you have it all here in a neat little format. You can then add different notes with text and then link them to specific images or specific files. You can then even add a table and write in here. So maybe you want to write out the features that they have that you want to include, maybe the pricing, the marketing strategy. With Millinode, you can keep all of the information neatly arranged. You can also make different boards. So then, for example, you have a board within a board to keep all the information, to keep some information separate. You can make columns. So let's say you want to keep everything on a specific startup in one specific board so it's not messy. You can even add documents. So, so a document with all the different markup. Honestly, when you're doing re your research, this tool is a must have. You'll have everything neatly in one place. You can also share it with some other people on your team so you can all interact and have all the research in one centralized location. Now, if you wanna find out about the best no-code tools to actually build out your idea, then make sure to click one of the videos on the screen now.